welcome back to my channel so today i'm doing an aloe yoga haul it's been a long time i feel like she always starts off my videos with a big yawn um, i swear this one is not boring i got some really cute stuff i haven't bought from aloe, Yo aloe yoga in a little while i definitely feel like i definitely gravitate more towards like their loungy or athleisure outfits more than their actual workout outfits however i did get another pair of leggings and sports bra to try from them again. Usually I get really bad camel toe in them, which is why I stray away from them. And um, it happened again with this haul, but you know, I just figured I would show you what I got because there are some really good stuff in this haul. So let's get right into it. Everything's gonna be linked down below. All my stats and sizing will be down below as well. So to start off, I'm gonna start with the outfit I'm wearing, which is this top, which was unexpectedly, unexpectedly probably my favorite thing in this haul. So this looks like it's just a basic top right here, right? So it's just like a gray ribbed material. And then this band provides a lot of support here, but it's very thick. Like it's not just a basic top. It's very thick where you don't need to wear a bra. Like I would suggest you not to wear a bra because it's very compressive. And because of how thick it is, you aren't really gonna show anything if it's like cold out, like there is a chance that you might if it's like super cold out, but for the most part, it stays like just pretty, you feel like very secure and covered and everything. And I really want this in other colors, but it's actually sold out in white and I would totally get it in white. So yeah, um, I would kind of compare this if you tried Bal to Athletica's like Synergy tops, it's kind of like this, like that, but I definitely like this better. I don't know, there's something about the quality that just feels better and it just like the fit is just perfect um the length i feel like is perfect and the cut and everything so and this is true to size i had a size small which is my typical size it's the perfect amount of compression and then here is what it looks like from the back here it just you know the typical like razor back style in the back here and then to go with that i got their flutter pants which i'm wearing right now so i'm gonna adjust the camera so you can see that Okay, so obviously it's the flared leg is really coming back in style. I used to be an avid yoga pants wearer when I was in middle school. Not surprisingly, I would just wear that with just everything. So, you know, it's coming back in style and I really wish I kept the ones I used to have because I feel like they don't make the fold over ones or at least I haven't really seen it. But yeah, so these flutter pants, let me bring the camera down. Okay, this is a size small and very true to size. And I will say I am just the perfect height for a lot of these pants. I did the same thing in my skins haul. Like the joggers were super long, but they were perfect on me. And same with these leggings. So they are very long where, but when I add a sneaker with them, they're the perfect length here. Like they just hit right at the floor basically. So I'm very happy with my height now. <laughs> And then as you can see, there is seam detailing right here, which I think is very flattering. And then there's also seam at the side. There is a front seam, and this is the one pant, or just like bottom from Ali Yoga, where I do not get any camel toe. It's like the least invasive front seam I've ever had, and it's amazing. So that's awesome. The only downside of these pants is the top seam. I just like really don't understand why they this top seam. I just feel like I, don't know, I tried taking some pictures in it and I just felt like, I don't know, I didn't feel like very confident having the front seam there, you know? So that's the only thing is there is that top seam. Um, otherwise, I think they fit really well. And they are very flattering from the back too. They just like hug you perfectly. And they just like cinch in at the knee and then flare out. And there's the Ali Yoga symbol. And I just think, you know, they are very cute. And so besides the top seam, I'm also very iffy about like if they're just kind of too trendy. You know, I could definitely, like, I definitely feel just like very out there when I'm just like wearing these out and about because like, I don't know, I don't want to seem like I'm stuck up trendy person or something. But anyways, these are Nike Dunks too, which I'll link in the description as well. But I feel like I had to also put shoes on to show you this outfit because when I wear them without shoes, like I would, I feel like these aren't pants I would wear around the house just because I feel kind of stupid like walking around the house in them. Just like, I don't know, like they feel awkward when you're not wearing shoes. It just kind of feels like a little frumpy maybe. <laughs> so yeah, that's the rundown on these pants. Um, everyone that's gotten them that I've seen says they love them. So I'm just trying to, you know, give them the pros and cons here, just like with the length 
the top seam and just if it's too trendy for you. So I think it's around 100 bucks. I do get a discount because I'm a trainer. But also, I'm going to show you how to style this in a few different ways. So yeah, I got two other items from them that can be styled with these leggings, one being the cropped Sherpa jacket. So I actually originally got this in an extra small, thinking that I could size down because I do have their Foxy Sherpa jacket and I get an extra small in that. However, it's definitely way more snug and a small is definitely true to size because I thought it was going to be similar to the Foxy Sherpa, but it's kind of different because uh, inside here is like very fuzzy and it's just a very plush jacket. So because it's so thick, you don't really want to size down or else, you know, it's just a lot of like tight plush on you. And the small is still like a cropped length and everything. So I would definitely stick true to size on this. And yeah, this is what we're looking like here. But I think this looks really cute paired with the flutter leggings. But again, I look, felt like so trendy in it. But I'm just like not used to, I don't know. Maybe it's just in my head. But anyways, I'm keeping the jacket too. I just really like it. I think, you know, this color is just so versatile and can go obviously just like plain black leggings or just any kind of leggings. And it's actually very warm. So even though it's cropped, it's not that cropped and it's still super warm. So I really like this jacket. It can look good with jeans and stuff too. So yeah, that is an another way to style it just with this coat. Which I will say also, this coat was very expensive. Um, like I said, I do have a trainer discount, but the quality is definitely there. Like it's a very quality zipper. And like I said, it is super, super warm. So it's not just like a crop jacket where you still feel cold, you know? Like I am already gonna be sweating in this jacket. <laughs> and then another option for a jacket, this one's actually an Aritzia zip up, which I'll link below. But this is, um, I thought like cute, just paired with this. And then also the Nike Dunks at the bottom. I just went grocery shopping in this outfit actually. And it's not as out there. I felt, you know, a little bit more low key. So it's just another way to style this outfit. And then last way with this outfit is brings me to my next aloe yoga item, which is, it's kind of random. It's just this basic white crop top, but I'm surprised with how insanely soft this is. Like I just don't, I can't even compare it to a fabric. It's like the softest t-shirt you'll ever feel. So they have this in white and black and yeah, you know, obviously you could just wear this like out and about. Um, I wouldn't really work out in it because it is like warmer because it's so soft. Um, but I thought this was super cute and it says just aloe, very minimal in the, on the bottom here. And this is a size small and true to size. So I'm going to try this on for you. Okay. So yeah, very like minimal and just basic crop top, which is so comfortable. And it has one of those uh, sleeves where it's not like too long. It's just kind of like like a shorter shoulder. And it's just kind of, it's tight around your shoulder. So again, I would stick to, to, to size for sure on this shirt because it's, I feel like, you know, it's supposed to fit like that. Um, and it's not too cropped at all. I don't know, I was actually expecting it to be like super cropped, but it's actually not like super cropped. It's like a normal amount. And then just nice and basic from the back too. So yeah, um, just a basic t-shirt if you happen to be looking for one. This is a very comfortable one. And I'm just wearing a Skims bralette underneath. I don't even know if you can really see it. I think it's the sienna color. And then actually I wanted to um, just put these pants on with heels. Because people are saying that that would look cute, but I haven't even tried that yet. So let's do that for this video. And then after that there's another outfit from Ella Yoga I want to show you. Okay, so here we are styled with these heels, which I got from Nordstrom, I'll link them down below too. I just felt like these were, these are like kind of can be like casual or dressy heels and I feel like they would look good with these pants. So it actually is a very like cute outfit. I'm not sure if I would necessarily choose to wear these pants out just because, I don't know, like I feel like they're just more loungy, but it is really cute if you just pair it with a white t-shirt and it's just like one of those cheap, trendy, basic Instagram girl bags that I just paired with. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I don't know. It definitely works if you're looking to wear these out and about because they are very comfortable. Like I said, I would just be cautious of the top seam. It's like my only um, insecurity here. And actually, I want to show you one last way to wear these just because why not? <laughs> Alright, so last outfit. This is just um, the Brown Earth Perfectly Oversized Crew Neck from Lulu. I'll link it down below as well. I don't think this color still exists. But this is probably how I'll actually wear it a lot in the winter, just, you know, because it's going to be colder, so you're not always going to wear crop stuff. And then this is, makes the front seam, like, invisible, obviously. It's just, like, hiding the front seam, but the le leggings 
are just like super cute now and I feel like I would just be way more comfortable wearing it like this and yeah I really like this style and the material of the leggings kind of remind me of like the Lululemon Luan so they're thicker and they're definitely not breathable so nothing to like work out in but they keep you really warm so I definitely see me like wearing these in the winter just because they are on the warm side and it's a good switch up from just like your typical black leggings to go run errands in and if you have cool shoes you can show them off <laughs> and then I'm gonna do one last close up of the leggings and I'm gonna switch into the last outfit here okay we're at the last outfit now at the haul which is actually a workout outfit <laughs> And this is the, the sports bra in a size small, and then their air lift leggings in a size small. I always get confused between the lift and the brush. I'm definitely more of a Lulu stand than Adele Yoga stand, which I'm sure is obvious if you watch my channel. I think that, like, like I said, I'm really cute and trendy stuff. It's just the leggings are not, don't always fit me, right? I feel like, I don't know, I'm back and forth. I think these are just so cute. I love this color, and they're very comfortable. However, like I said, they give me camel toe unless I like really um, just bring it not as high waisted. But now I just feel like there's a chance that they're gonna fall down during my workout. So definitely let me know what you guys if you guys have these air lift leggings and if they fall down on you when you're working out. Just because I feel like the material you know is a very like you could probably see it on camera. It's like shiny and almost like slippery. So I feel like why like how would they not slip down during your workout? Anyways, let me first talk about the sports bra and then I'll get more into the leggings. So the sports bra I love. I got it because obviously it's cute and then I was like reading the reviews and they said it's actually supportive too. I worked out in it yesterday and I did post a workout, a workout in it yesterday on my Instagram if you want to see what it looked like. I paired it with black Lulu Aligns and it looks so cute with the Nike Dunks. <laughs> and yeah, it just felt like really good in the gym and it's so supportive. This is actually a similar material, it feels like, to the flutter leggings that I just had on. It's like, you know, a thicker material, and there's a cute keyhole here, but everything is just very secure. Look, I'm so covered here, and here I don't feel like it's going to fall down at all. It's just like, it's a nice thick strap too, and this is very thick and supportive here. And then here is what it looks like from the back here. Um, so again, lots of coverage back there even as well. So. Overall, I really recommend this legging or this sports bra. There's no paddings in here, uh, which I feel like makes sense because, like, I don't know, it just probably would look weird with padding. They had other colors too, so I'm not sure how those would look, but I think the black is definitely a winner and we can work with so many things. So now back to the leggings. I would definitely say true to size for them. I think sizing down, you know, just be really invasive on the front seam. Uh, let me bring the camera down a little bit more so you can just see closer up of the leggings. Okay, so what I do like about the leggings is they're very simple, minimalist design. I just love this color too. I think it was called gravel. I'm going to just you know, have the details down below. Let's do a quick squat test here. I think they're squat proof. Yeah, I mean, I think they're very cute. I think it just really depends on your body type with these leggings. So, I don't know, back and forth. Like, I feel like I really want to keep them, but I'm just not sure how much I'll reach for them. Um, depending on if they slide down or not. So I definitely need your guys' opinion on these ones and your experience with the leggings, but super cute and the material itself is very, very comfortable and I feel like I can just like kind of wear them all day, so. And then I wanted to put on the Sherpa coat one more time just to show you what it looks like with a workout outfit and I just think it's so cute and I just feel so warm in this. So, highly recommend this jacket. I know it's pricey, but I feel like it's something I could definitely wear a lot. But yeah, other than that, that is it for the haul. So, if you guys have any questions, leave them down below. And also, definitely your opinions. I love, that's pretty much why I do these YouTube videos. I just love hearing your guys' opinions. And I just feel like I'm just like talking to my friends. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.